Hey guys, I got something working I want to share with you guys. Hey, uh, thanks for doing this. This is pretty nice. Uh, and cranking up all that code. I'm not as predictive as you guys, but here it goes. So let me just see and show you what it does right now first. Um, it's just blinking. Nothing fancy. But what's behind it is I thought was was getting cool, I think. is. Uh, as did we discussed, we want it to be more modular and so let me show you what I've done. Um, I have not checked this in. I'm not sure if uh, you guys like what I've done. So I, this is all local. Uh, as you can see, it's checked out, but it's not checked in. Anyway, enough talk. Okay, uh, in here, the first thing I do is instead of running this main window, I leave this file alone. Notice it has, hasn't been changed. And I create a new one called sample01, which is in the layouts directory here. This is where we would supply some samples and the end user will have their layout, uh, which is like that. Excuse my small screen. I did it such that the recording won't be so huge. I normally run at a higher resolution than this too. But basically, this is what we talked about. Um, they would basically put whatever image they want in here. They could drag whatever devices they want in here. And this is just one of them. And it's just an LED. And this devices here came from this particular assembly, Netwino devices. But we feel, before we get there, let's see what's behind the, on the code behind on here. On the code behind, oh yeah. Let's start from here. So this guy is the new one. It's passed in this, which I believe is the emulator itself. So it goes into sample 01. Let's go in there. Yeah, it's passed in the emulator. And all this guy does is save it in its local uh, member here. And I need to be able to go get that and pass it to the devices. So I have a read-only, a get-only um, property. So nobody could set this because there's only a get for, and there's not a set for it. So that's that. And it comes in and it sets this and that's all it does. And then in the UI, as you saw earlier, we have all these things that, you know, devices, uh, switches and what have you. And that will actually come from this guy right here. So let's take a look at him. There's only one device right now. We have a whole bunch of these eventually. On the UI side, it's just dumb XAML, a rectangle and blah. We could, they again, we could make this as fancy as we want. Each one of these element uh, devices slash component could be as complicated as we want. And because each of them has a code and this code is the reason why we needed that emulator being being uh, passed in. So when it's instantiated, it doesn't do anything. But as soon as it uh, got loaded, as soon as that control got loaded on this side, I put a user control loaded. So when this control is completely loaded by the UI, it will run this guy. And uh, this little snippet here allows us to edit and not run this code. So this code will only run when it's actually running, not while here. We are in the designer here, so otherwise we won't be able to see this. And we won't be able to see this over here. It was crashing before I edit that. So uh, let's go back here. So if, it, if the control has been loaded, the LED has been loaded, I look at the parent of this LED, turn that into a window, and that win whoa, what happened? And that window happens to be, of course, the sample zero one class. This is something we need to resolve, like because eventually that will have different names. So maybe we need to create a base class or something so they all the emul all the these windows can share the same uh, base class emulator base class. And from there, we have the emulator that we save, and we shouldn't be able to uh, 
write to it because there was only a git uh, accessor for it so we got this emulator now locally in here and so if we ever need the emulator in any of these uh, other procedures we will have them but that's pretty much it uh, so we get the emulator the emulator will do a fine component just like before this will eventually have to come from an attribute uh, so we can have it within the UI in here and we'll put an attribute in here to set all these things and then all this stuff is the old code nothing changed there and yeah this is still here I haven't tried having two but I don't see any reason why two wouldn't work because uh, I guess it wouldn't work yet because I don't have this yet but I was pretty excited that actually all all work as as planned there is basically we could keep on creating more, more of these and the user could create any of these and he have complete control as to where he wants to put stuff so he could put you know the LED over here if he didn't want to and he could draw lines and stuff like that so I thought that was pretty cool so I had to share talk to you guys later bye bye